Yes, yes, yes. What's going on, guys? Day Trading Attic here. And today, we're going to talk about profitable trader versus struggling trader. Trust me, you're going to love this one. So let's go. So guys, if you want to trade full-time or scout full-time, scalping full-time, right? You need to understand mindset matters. It's very hard to try to take the information that's inside a profitable trader brain, take that information and try to transfer that inside a struggling trader's brain. It is very hard to do that because a lot of struggling traders, they have bad habits. They are very stubborn. Um, you know, they don't want to listen or they don't want to take full responsibility or, you know, they always break their rules, right? It's, it's a big list. So today we're going to talk about, you know, eight things you need to focus on if you want to take your trading to the next level, right? If you want to actually trade full time, because when it comes to success, right, certain things you need to know, and those certain things are very counterintuitive, okay? Meaning that they are the opposite of whatever you're thinking right now. Naturally, when you start something new, you look around, right, to see what everyone else is doing, and you say, oh yeah, I think I need to do that. Oh yeah, I, I need to do that. And a lot of times that's not what you need to do. So these things is actually right in front of your face. But since you are focused on trying to do what everyone else is doing, okay, for some reason you just don't see them. So we don't talk about that today. So the first thing I want to talk about is feedback. Okay. Profitable traders know that feedback is very important. A successful trader is telling you, hey man, you need to do this, stop doing this and stop doing this or whatever the case is, listen to that person. Do not think that that person is trying to uh, talk down on you. Accept the feedback. And a lot of struggling traders or new traders don't even search or look for any type of feedback. And feedback is very important. If you look at any professional sport, they have coaches, right? Okay. And the coach is there to say, hey man, you're doing great, but you need to you know, do this a little bit more or do that a little bit more, right? So those little tweaks or that little information that the coach is giving you, that alone will help you take any career to the next level. So make sure that you don't shy away from feedback because a lot of struggling traders and new traders shy away from feedback. Number two, win rate. This is a big thing a lot of new and struggling traders focus on. Trust me, I was one of them, okay? And again, we're talking about trying to think the opposite. Most struggling traders think about win rate and profitable traders know that win rate doesn't matter at all, okay? And these little things, guys, these little tiny things can actually stop you from being a successful trader. And I'm gonna show you guys a chart real quick. So if you look at this chart, it's just basically showing you the risk to reward uh, ratio and the win rate. So. The first one, okay, we're going to go to the 60%. If you win 60% of the time, okay, you can actually be a profitable trader. If you win 50% of the time, you can still be a profitable trader only if you do 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, or 5 to 1. Now, if you don't know what 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 5 to 1, 4 to 1, or 5 to 1 is, it's basically um, 2 to 1 is 2 times your money. So if you're risking $100, you're getting $200 back. 3 to 1 is basically... Three times your money, if you're risking 100, you're getting $300 back. So, guys, if you lose 50% of the time and win 50% of the time, you can still make money. And this is what a lot of traders, new traders and struggling traders, for some reason, they can't embrace this. So, I'm not going to go over the whole chart. Let's go all the way to the left. The left is 20% of the time, guys. You're winning 20% of the time, right? And you have a strategy that allows you to go to five to one, you can still be profitable. Think about that. You're losing 80% of the time, okay? And you're only winning 20% of the time. And you can still make money. This is why win rate doesn't matter. You think it matters. To you, it matters because you're looking for the holy grail. You're looking for that system that wins 99.9% .9 of the time. Doesn't exist. So I'm here to tell you guys, stop worrying about win rate. Okay, guys? So make sure you understand that number three focusing only on winners new traders and struggling traders 
Love to do that. Yay, man, I just made $200. Yay, man, you see that? But what about the two trades before that? Okay, yeah, you made $200, but the two trades before the $200, you actually broke your rules. You know, you, you move your stop loss. So stop worrying or focusing on your winners and focus on your losers, okay? Because you would never figure out all your bad habits by only focusing on the winners, okay? So always remember that. Number four, trading all day. A lot of traders want to trade all day and, you know, they want to over trade because math wise, it makes sense, right? It makes sense to try to take 20 trades in a day because they say, oh my God, if I take 20 trades, you know how much money I can get? But remember, we're talking about, okay, success here. A lot of things that successful traders do is the opposite. It goes back to, you know, certain things we do in order to make profit is counterintuitive. You can't think like the herd. So you can't trade all day because number one is going to, you know, strain you mentally. You're going to have to take a break because trading is so intense. You're going to have to take a break. And if you keep trading, guys, you're going to force setups. It's just how it works. So what I like to do, I like to take the best setups. And the best setups don't come that often. And I like that. Okay. So I try to you know, trade maybe for two or three hours and I'm pretty much done for the day. Okay. So guys, remember trading all day doesn't equal to more money. You can actually lose more money trading all day. Number five, setting daily money goals. Now, if you're a trader, if you're a struggling trader, you shouldn't set any money goals. Okay. Most profitable traders that I know, they don't set any daily goals. Okay. Now, the reason why is because they understand that every day is different. Monday is going to be different. Tuesday is going to be different. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is going Every day is different, guys. So you can't say, oh, Monday, I'm going to make this much. Oh, Tuesday, I'm going to make this much. No, guys. So what you do instead of that is you focus on the process. You focus on trading your strategy and doing the right thing. By doing the right thing, that's what's going to make you the money automatically, guys. So focus on trading your strategy and doing the right thing and the money will come. Number six, trying to predict the future. Guys, when it comes to trading, okay, profitable traders know that they can't predict. We don't know. All we know is, okay, I see the setup. I like the setup. If I take the setup 10 times, I'm probably going to win seven out of 10. Okay. Yeah, I might lose this time, but it doesn't matter. If I take it 10 times in a row, Okay, I might win seven out of those 10. And that's how we operate. We don't care about predicting the future. I don't know where gold is going to go. I don't know where NASDAQ is going to go. I don't know where AMC is going to go. I don't know where GME is going to go. But if you have a setup and your strategy tells you to take that setup, you take that setup. Don't try to predict. All right? Number seven, they don't want to lose. Struggling traders and new traders, they don't want to lose. And this is a tough one, guys. It's tough because no one wants to lose, right? But again, it goes back to what? You have to think the opposite, guys. A lot of times, success is not obvious. So if you want to win, in order to win, you have to lose. Guys, losing is a gift. Every time you lose, it's actually giving you a gift. It's giving you diamonds. It's saying, hey, man, this information right here, if you take it, you can actually solve your problems and take your trading to the next level. That's if you think that way. So losing is a gift because it tells you your answers, right? If you dig deep enough, you can see the answers is right in front of you. If you try to figure out, okay, why this trade was a loser. A lot of times, nine out of 10, the answer is going to be right in front of your face. You take that. That's a gift. Okay, so don't be mad if you're losing right now because it's not always going to be like that. Eventually, things are going to get better and you're going to start winning more. And that's how it works. Number eight, the inner trading game. Most traders do not focus on the inner trading game. The inner game is basically working on yourself. Most traders 
skip that part or they do that part last, which is understandable because I did it last. <laughs> I'm quite sure everybody that's watching this, you did that last. You focus on that last, okay? Most struggling traders and new traders, they want to focus on the external trading game, like the indicators, what's the best setups, you know, the shiny parts. But they don't want to dig deep inside. They don't want to learn how to control their emotions. You know, they don't want to work on why I'm breaking my rules. They don't want to work on that. That's inner. Okay? You have to work on your inner game, guys. Your inner trading game so you can, okay, take your trading to the next level. You don't want to revenge trade, right? You don't. You don't want to do that. You don't want to break your rules. Okay? And we overlook the inner trading game because... All we think about is money, right? When we first come in this game, like, oh my, I gotta make some money, I gotta make some money, but don't wanna fix yourself. So if you have some anger issues, those anger issues is actually gonna show up inside your trading. When you're trading, you get pissed off if, if, you, if you take a loser, you get pissed off, you get mad, start banging the table, right? And guess what? That's gonna mess you up because the next trade you're gonna take, you're probably either gonna force the next trade or revenge trade or, you know, risk more money on the next trade and we don't want that guys you need to control yourself learn how to control your emotions work on that in the game all right so that's it guys that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed that video if so make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and please join my free telegram group where i post educational videos and exclusive discounts and speaking about discount guys i have a discount going on all this month okay for my trading program if you don't have my trading program by now make sure you pick that up because it can take your trading to the next level if you have any questions comment below because i try to answer all your guys questions thanks for your time and please have a great day